click on this video because you want to learn how to resolve error 0x8004005 in Windows 10 and I will help you resolve this issue with some of the interesting methods. Fifth method can corrupt your system so try that method with cautiously. So keep watching this video till the end and like target for this video is 100 so please hit like and then subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos let's understand the error 08004005 commonly known as unspecified error and it's a generic error message in windows it can be triggered by issues such as corrupt system files incompatible drivers or hardware related problems the method number one is to run windows update troubleshooter to do that go to start menu then click on settings click on system scroll down then click on troubleshoot here then click on other troubleshooters now you see windows update here and run button over here you have to click on this run button so this process will take some time if this process completes you can check if the issue is resolved or not if the issue is not resolved with this particular method then you can try with another method now you can see troubleshooting has completed and problem found is check for update issues and they have detected it but it's saying that did we fix your problem then you can click on yes if the problem is fixed if problem is not fixed you can click on no i'm going to click on no and then once the troubleshooter is closed i will follow another method and the next method is a disabling antivirus software if the error occurs while accessing a file or application you can just temporarily disable your antivirus software you can open windows security from start menu and to do that you can just click on start menu and then click on settings once you click on the settings you can click on privacy and security and then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection my virus and threat protection is managed by avg antivirus and that's why i'm not getting option here so i'll go ahead and stop the avg antivirus and to do that i'll go to services.msc i'm going to disable it and then i'm going to click on disable and then click on apply it is saying access is denied click on ok and then click on ok again but still it is saying access is denied so i'm going to click on cancel but, but before that i'll just copy this path i'll go to run and then paste it here i don't have permission to this file.exe file so i'll try to get the permission on this file by accessing the path and I will open the file explorer and I will look for AVG SVC. This is the application and I'll right click on it and then go to properties. Click on security. Once click on security, I will just check administrator permissions. It has full control. I will edit this check administrators user system it got all the permissions on administrators users so i will click cancel it again that's why i hate this antivirus softwares because it doesn't allow us to manage i'll try to disable this another service it is also saying access is denied so click on ok click on cancel I will have to uninstall the software and right click on the start and then click on the settings. Go to apps and features. Look for AVG here but it is showing on top of the list. I will click on these three dots and I will try to uninstall it. 
check if the issue is resolved or not after an installation of the antivirus software if free version of the antivirus software is blocking your application or any of the file then you can just uninstall it and uh, if uh, virus and threat protection gets enabled you can just uh, turn it off uh, this real-time protection is currently on because I have uninstalled the AVJ software so you can just click on off and then check if the issue is resolved or not if the issue is not resolved by this method you have to follow another method now the other method is modify folder permissions if you're accessing file or if it's a folder and access issue is there you have to change the folder permissions go to explorer or on the folder path wherever you are getting the error suppose i'm going into g drive or f drive and on this i don't have permission to open it and i'm getting the error i'm going to right click on it and then click on properties i'll go to security click on edit here click on my name and then i will give full permission if the permissions are not there i will give full permission for now it is showing me all the permissions are there so i will give full permission or i will just click on full control and then all the permissions will be applied and then click on apply click on ok and click on ok again once these permissions are given you can check if the issue is resolved or not if the issue is not resolved we have to follow another method the next method is to clear windows update cache to follow that particular method you have to, to open the services.msc open the run box and then type services.msc click on ok select any of the service and then press w key on your keyboard and then it will and then look for windows update service just click on windows update service and then stop it it is very much needed to stop the windows update service to delete the cache of windows updates now you have to navigate to c drive so i'll go to this pc and then double click on c drive i will open windows folder and then software distribution i'll select any of the folder and press s key on the keyboard and it will take me to the folders which are starting with s software distribution double click on it and then double click on download these are all the downloaded folders and files from the internet to install windows update on your computer select all and then shift delete them click on continue to give permission to delete the folders i will select do this for all correct items and then click on continue now all the folders are deleted you can just click on services.msc icon on the taskbar and then start the windows update service once the windows update is started you can just check if the issue is resolved or not if the issue is not resolved by following this method you have to follow another method the most important method which can corrupt your system is this one do it cautiously or if you don't have any idea about this then just don't follow this method and you can follow another method or else you can just call a technician to resolve that particular issue now open the run box and then type reg edit hit enter close all these folders here go to hklm that is hk local machine in the hk local machine go to software in the software go to microsoft expand it then in the microsoft go to windows scroll down and then you will find windows over here expand windows as well then current version expand current version then go to policies scroll down and this is the policies folder then system now you have to create a new d word or keyword value named local account token filter policy right click on it 
click on new click on dvr 32 bit value type local account token filter policy and then double click on it set the value to 1 and then click on ok go ahead and restart your system once you restart your system just check if the issue resolves or not if the issue doesn't try another method right click on the start and then click on the settings click on windows update and then click on check for updates this will check the latest updates to be installed on your computer whatever the updates are available it will get installed on your computer and once you install the windows updates you can just restart your computer and check if the issue resolves or not if the issue doesn't follow another method open the run box first of all and then type cmd open the start and then type uh, cmd here and then right click on it and then click on run as administrator because this command is not going to run in the normal command prompt so we have to open the command prompt with administrator rights so type sfc space scan now and hit enter this process is going to take some time and you have to allow some time to complete this process once this process gets complete you can restart the computer and then check if the issue resolves or not if the issue is not resolving by following all these methods take the backup of your computer of your data in the c drive and restore the windows 10 operating system you can reset the windows 10 operating system and if you want to see how to reset the windows 10 operating system you can check out the video in the i box i have given the link to the video which shows you how to reset the computer or how to restore the windows 10 computer so that's it for this video hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos thanks and bye bye